Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about a figurative language called hyperbole. Some people might say hyperbole, but that's not how you say it. It's hyperbole. And hyperbole is an exaggeration. So have you ever heard your mom say, oh my gosh, this line is going to take forever. Well, that's an exaggeration. It could also be a hyperbole. So the example that they use here is that my birthday is going to take forever to get here. Well, the person knows that their birthday will eventually get there, but they're being impatient and they feel like it's going to take forever for it to be their birthday. So I'm going to show you a couple examples of hyperboles. And we're going to say one thing and what we could say is a hyperbole to make your writing more exciting. Okay, so we could say, I'm so hungry. Or you could say, I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. Or you could say, they have a lot of money. Or you could say, they have a ton of money. I could say, I really wanna go to the movies. Or I could say, if I don't go to the movies, I will die. Well, you're not actually going to die. You just really wanna go to the movies. Could say, Grandma is old. Or I could say, Grandma is older than dirt. Older than dirt? Dirt's been around for a really long time. I could say, My feet hurt. Or I could say, My feet are killing me. That just means they hurt really bad. Well, I'm going to show you some examples that I created so that you can see how fun figurative language and hyperbole is. Let's go watch like a million glue sticks. Is that a million glue sticks? Well, no, I just have 105. And it's a really big one. I have a million glue sticks, but I don't actually have a million. I just have a lot. Man, I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. Could you, could you eat a horse? Well, no, but I'm really hungry. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, Mr. Horse was glad to hear that you couldn't actually eat him. You're just really hungry. But a lot of people will say that. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. He was really, really starving. All right, let's see the next one. That turkey could feed an army. Turkey, 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 turkey! Are you sure that turkey could feed an army? Well, no, but it is really big. Aw, no turkey. So when a person says that something is so big that it could feed an army, it's gotta be a really, really large portion. So when they said that that turkey is so big it could feed an army, well, they're just saying that the turkey is very big. All right, now we're gonna check out our last one. Oh my gosh, my mom's gonna explode when she gets my report card. Here, mom, here's my report card. All right, so your mom is not actually going to explode when she gets a report card, but she might be pretty mad and she might even get bust at you a little bit, but she's not going to actually explode. So I hope that you were able to learn a few things about hyperboles, figurative language, and how you can use other phrases instead of boring old ones, and it'll make your writing and how you talk super exciting and really fun. See you later.